Bring back out to round two. I'm going to start off with an old favourite of mine with kettlebells, and that's kettlebell uh, hollow body hold. Off I go with the kettlebells. Uh, love this one. And yeah, and kettlebells just makes the enjoyment of it all more. Thanks to Jenny and for doing this video for me. It is nice, everyone in bed, except us. So I'm gonna keep talking, because that's what I do. I'm doing planks or hollow body holds, past the time. Really feeling that one. It's the hollow, it takes the hollow body hold to a whole new level. You add some kettlebells to it. Really feel that minute, feel that minute go by. And I forgot the next one. So, straight in to the next one, which is kettlebell. That hurt away. So, grab maybe the grab the eight for this one. Make sure I'm doing it right. Get shoulder with the part. I'm going to go all the way to the side and back in. Working. Those lats working those shoulders. Keeping that back straight. Nice and slow and controlled. Really feel that one in the shoulders. Two down, eight to go. So next one is tactical lunge. So what we do with that one, we get our right heavy one again. Take a big step forward. I'm gonna watch my time in this one. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on each side. I'm gonna go down as low as I can. Tactical lunge hold. So what I'm doing is going in and out, and around, and in. Whoa. And out and around. And this one is a killer. And I'm already regretting the weight I chose for it. And you can do it single leg as well as in one leg, do one and then change legs. 30. But I'm doing 30 seconds on each leg. Or you can do one exercise of each. Oh, here we go. A tough one. Ah, definitely regretting weight. Move around this other side. And one more for the road. Ah, I really feel that one on the arms and the legs. Jenna's getting a great kick out of this. I haven't seen her as happy in a while. Bent over a row, next one. Gonna grab the twelves for this. Bending over, get shoulders apart, and off I go. Keeping that back straight. Head up. Knees slightly bent. And that was done. So, next one. 
Last few coming up. Six to go. Four kettlebell single leg lifts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab maybe the two weights for this one. Hold them up in front. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna do some leg kicks. That just works that core a little bit harder. Because you're concentrating on keeping yourself steady, holding those kettlebells up and getting those legs up. That one, Jen, that's actually in hysterics here laughing at me at the moment. Really enjoying this. Has been seeing me work this hard in a while. And rest. So, five more, three quarters of the way through. Nearly there, hope you're still with me. Again, as I said, don't have to have kettlebells. So, Overhead squat. So I'm gonna grab the 12. I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna do a squat. Down I go. And up I go. Right arm. Down I go. And up I go. Again, you can do this one arm at a time. Or two hands, two arms together. You feel this one and rest and over to the other side. <sighs> Give myself a second. Really feel that one. Four left. Changing sides again. As I said, you can use kettlebells. If you don't have kettlebells, you can use weights. Or now you can find the other house. I can do it, which is body weight, just as effective. So off I go. Second round. Keeping that back straight all the time. Don't let those knees go out over the toes. Get ready to jump out of this again. Last few seconds. Can oh, you feel that one? Oh, so, nearly there. I am going on to my last three. Four, sorry, that's four. And, uh, so, next one. We are going to do some shoulder presses. So, I'm going to grab these heavy ones again. This side, just using the shoulders, feet shoulder the part, up and down after the last exercise. This is really killer on the shoulders. I'm feeling it already. Jenna's delighted. Regretting my weight choice. I'm going to go down the weight on the last few because as the saying goes Australia pushed the moment it's so always if you get fatigued just go down the weight and keep going 
Oh, fuck. Or, sorry, I mean, bleep. <laughs> Jen is really, really enjoying this one. So, two exercises left. Push and twist. Next one. So grab these eights. And off I go. A little bit more. Thank God. It's the second last station. Jen is really enjoying this workout more than <laughs> any workout I've seen her do her watch before. As I said, I should have tested out this kettlebell circuit before I did it. Working those obliques, keeping those legs up. You can bend the knees if you want to. And on to my last circuit. Ah, thankfully. So last one, we are going to do a plank with kettlebell. So, off I go for my plank. Finish off. Enjoyed this one. Tough one. If you haven't done it before, if you haven't worked with kettlebells before, or if you haven't used them for a long time, which is me, take it easy. If you don't have kettlebells, use something else. Use weights. I think you find around the house, keeping that core nice and tight now for this last one. Sucking that belly button in. Hope you're all keeping well, as I said earlier. I hope to see you soon back in the club. He's got this coronavirus ever ends. I'm gonna go a little bit longer because it started late. I haven't been able to sleep tonight. I thought I hadn't done the minute for the last one. And rest. So, thanks for joining me. Tough one. Hope you enjoy it. Again, as I keep stressing, don't need kettlebells if you have weights or no weights at all. Great workout. I'm going to do this one twice, maybe not tonight, maybe I'll save the second half for tomorrow, this stage. Um, but YouTube channel is up and running, it's under my name, I have half the videos on it, and what I'm going to do in the future is just load the video I do up onto WhatsApp, and then all my videos will be on YouTube because it's too much, it's taking too much space up on people's phones. Great to see you, see you soon, hope you enjoy the workout.